Hello guys, Rigel here of Archaeologist Gaming. In this video, we're gonna test two similar cases from Deep Cool, the CG540 and the CG560. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this video. Deepcool releases their premium cases, namely the CG540 and the CG560. These cases are quite the same, except they have the different front panel. The CG540 uses tempered glass, while the CG560 uses ABS plastic with cutouts for airflow. There was a delay on the arrival of the cases, so it's too late for me to do an unboxing. In fact, if you search at Google, you will see lots of unboxing of the said cases. So that is why I will go directly to see what is the difference in temps for the cases and which is better when you buy it as it is. Let's build the PC. For our build and testing, I will use Astrax C490 Pro 4 motherboard with an Intel i5-10600K processor. For the RAM, I will use the Kingsman Gaming 32GB of 8x4 3200MHz RGB memory modules. For the storage, I will use the AITC FC300 512GB M.2 SSD. For the graphics card, I will use the Gigabyte 1660 Super. For the power supply, I will use the Deepcool's DQ850M V2L. And lastly, for the cooler, the Deepcool AS500. Here are the temperature results. Based on the results, the temperature of the i5-10600K, which is overclocked to 5 GHz on idle, has difference of 2 to 3 degrees Celsius when the tempered glass is on or off. Now in loaded temps, using Cinebench R20, there is a difference of 3 degrees. This result is quite unexpected because again, the CG560 has cutouts for air to go inside the system, while the CG540 has a little side vents, which is not enough. For the graphics card temp, where the fans are idle, they have similar temperatures. On loaded temps, using Formark with a 1080p preset in benchmarking, the CG560 is just ahead of 1 degree. I tested it for 3 times to confirm, but I have outputted the same results. Here are my final thoughts. The cases look the same and have the same features, except the front panel. What I'm trying to show here in this video is what case is worth it as it is. The results of the temperature have a small margin, as it will just show you a small difference only. Now, if you want a great looking case, I will go for the CG540, as the RGB lights in the front is quite better to look at than the CG560. If you don't want to buy another set of fans and look for a good airflow case, then go for the CG560. 
Either way, you will have pros and cons in choosing between the case. It will fall into your decision on what you want to pass. You can buy the CG540 for 4,350 pesos and the CG560 for 4,475 pesos at your nearest deep cool affiliated stores. I hope this video is informational for you. For more videos, click on the subscribe button and follow my Facebook page. And see you in the next video.